Welcome to the President's Court. I'm so excited to be shooting this video for you guys and the many more videos that will be following soon after. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. The community has been growing so well since we've launched and I'm looking forward to more subscriptions. If you haven't, please do subscribe. Please do tell a friend. Hit the like button, share, comment so that we grow as a community together. And I promise you, this channel will be one of the best subscriptions we have on YouTube's YouTube subscriptions because of the value it will add in your life as a student. I'll be sharing different tools on this channel on how to become better and effective. I want to share because it's now a bit later in the year, right? And we're going to write our second semester assessments. We're going to write our final year assessments. And I want to teach you two fundamental um, points that I think are quite important that will help you prepare effectively. First one is focus. I've read an article about how there is a war out there for our attention. Think about it, how many apps does your phone actually have? And think about it even when you go online, you say something, Google anything, right? There's an advert pop-up that, that comes up. Maybe you went shopping to a particular site, right? And then now the pop-up comes up and now it's seeking for attention. Um, look at even your own personal space, the many gadgets you may have that want your attention, right? And that's unfortunately how the world is today. And I believe that we are the most challenged of generations in terms of young people. Other generations that had a bit less distractions than us. And then it is important for you to be focused when you're preparing for your assessments. The second one is discipline. There's a book by Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And one of the key things he teaches there is learn to do the first things first, right? And for you to be able to do that, you need discipline. You need to be able to prioritize. And because this is the home of tools, I'll teach you how to learn these two key things. Because when you're disciplined, you are able to focus and you're able to achieve what you've set for yourself. Right? Now the activity, the how. Take a blank page, an A4 page, right? Um, that you're going to write, you're going to use it to write all the different distractions that cause inefficiencies in your day, right? Write them all down. What that helps you with, it helps your mind now that you are aware that these are the things that cause inefficiencies and therefore they're not good for my space when I need to work. So every single time, let's say for example, you've written down your phone, when you see your phone and you seriously need to work, your mind already clicks that this is one of the distractions. Therefore, you won't give it attention, but you'll rather focus. Write all those things down and I'll teach you even how to ensure you keep the discipline around it. Because now when you know what causes inefficiencies in your day, you are able to stay away from them and then focus on your task. For example, one of the key things I have on my list, I know my phone is a problem, right? And you know how we have this tendency of even checking our phone when there's no notification. Um, you find you go, you were on WhatsApp 30 seconds ago, you put your phone away and 30 seconds later you want to check a message again, right? Those are the things that waste our time and, and mess up our focus. And we need to work around that. I'll share a thing or two there. Also, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a deep house lover, so from time to time I play my deep house and, and dance a bit. So I know if I have my laptop close to me and if I'm not using it for notes, I have my laptop close to me and my speakers next to each other. Those ones are best of bombers. I'll, I'll end up playing a deep house track here and there. And then before you know it, 30 minutes is gone. Another one that is huge. Yo, umpeto my feet. Umpeto my feet. Right? Where you find when you need to actually study, you feel like, hey, let's just take a nap. Kind of the bed now suddenly speaks in tongues. I'm calling you in different names. It becomes a Romeo and a Juliet. And those things cause distractions in our space when you need to study. So when you have them on a list, you are cognizant that these are distractions. And then when you have to focus, then you know those are the things you, don't, you must not entertain. The bad thing, right? If you're not studying in your room, right? What is most important, get a good study space. So go down to the library, um, if you, or go down to the garage, set up a young table. Aim is get away from your bed because you know from time to time you want to lay there and then that waste time. Imagine if you have a week or two months towards your assessment, you don't have time to waste. Right? Phone for me, I put it on silent 
So do so as well. Put it on the airplane, airplane mode. If you're brave enough, you can switch it off, right? Most important thing is about a phone is put it un under your pillow. Put it where you don't see it. Because when you have a distraction, even if it's on silent and there's no notification and you put it upside down, if it's around your space, because of that desire to always want to check notifications, you'll always be distracted because you want to keep on checking even if there's no WhatsApp message. You're on WhatsApp. What are you doing, right? So put it where you can't see it. I personally put it under the pillow, right? Uh, and I can't see it and I'm able to focus. Laptop, I put it away, I remove it from my table and I ensure on my table is the books that I need for that particular subject. And another key thing also is when you when it's time to study, make sure the things you need are on uh, around the space and are close by so that you don't have the need to constantly stand up and going up and down. Because these different distractions are the ones that we tend to use excuses for saying no i need to do a b and c as an excuse for me to run away from doing the work so one of the key lessons about success is we need to learn to do the boring things because the nice things that get us to relax they're nice and they're nice for a reason and you're going to relax and not do anything so i advise you friends that you show your space is conducive and sufficient to study those different distractions you are aware of them can put them on your wall and you see these are the different that distract me and limit access to them. Having a WhatsApp locker or phone locker is not enough because if you can, especially if you can just open it up or even if you have a phone locker you find you constantly want to have look at your phone put away you can see it. And I promise you these different things will help you be much more focused. In my next video, I'll be teaching you, because now we have a bit of focus and we have a good space to study, I'll be teaching on how to ensure we keep motivated and we're able to achieve the things we've set for our study sessions. And many more videos that follow after the different tools on how to become better. Do subscribe, hit the like button, comment, any questions, I welcome, I'll answer any questions.